We've received a message from Margrave Gautier. It seems there's an emergency at the capital. No. I hope His Majesty is safe. Cornelia has arrived at the gates of Ferdiad, leading the combined forces of the Western Lords. And here I thought we were keeping an eye on those guys. It seems they outsmarted us, though. If this message is anything to go by, they must have been hiding their tracks from us somehow. Sounds like they're outfitted with strange new weapons as well, which they use to threaten the citizens of the capital. And so, our fearless leader surrendered to the enemy to protect the people of Ferdiad from harm. I'm not sure what's become of Dedu or my father. And what about my father? He was guarding the city with Duke Ivan. I haven't heard of any harm to Gustav, but we can't assume the same for the Duke. I'm worried about Dedu and the others. I can only hope they're unharmed. I agree, but they're not the sort who would abandon their duties to save their own skin. We need to head north, Felix. There's no time to lose. Right you are. We make for the capital. Such a selfless leader, sacrificing his own well-being for that of his people. It seems somewhere along the way, he's actually become the kind-hearted king you took him for. Maybe. But if he does die, the people will be next. As if there's any avoiding that, let's say he'd turned his back on his citizens and sought to prolong his own life instead. He would be reviled as a warmonger. One who sought conflict to protect his people, only to abandon them to the wolves when it mattered most. Commoners and lords alike would cast off their allegiance to him, and the kingdom would plunge into chaos. Either way, there's no point speculating. If Dimitri dies now, it's all over. Ah, the struggles of being a leader. Your choices certainly carry more weight than those of a simple mercenary. Merc life's a walk in the park in comparison. All you have to care about is you and your company. And if worst comes to worst, you can just drop everything and run for your life. Not to say the profession doesn't have its own share of challenges. One's not necessarily harder than the other. But one thing is clear to me, at least. You'll never be cut out for the nobility. I could do without the insults, thanks. <laughs> I trust you've been well, your majesty. Do I look it? I suggest you have your eyes examined, if so. <sighs> I should sever your head clean from your shoulders for this. My, wouldn't that be satisfying? But of course you can't do that now, can you? Your poor people's lives would be forfeit the moment you struck me down. As for your loyal knight and the former Duke Fraldarius, they're certainly giving it all they have, but a paltry force that size will hardly buy them any time. And once we've wrung the life from them, you'll be next. How tragic it'll be, facing your beloved citizens for the final time, with a noose around your neck. You know, I almost appreciate seeing such bold-faced sadism. There's not a hint of nuance to it. Is that a compliment I hear? You'll make a lady blush if you're not careful. Ironic, isn't it? Both you and your father will have died alone, betrayed by lords from within the very kingdom you're meant to be ruling. From hasty reforms to insurrection and assassination, did you learn nothing from dear old dad? It's only natural that those you refuse to help would hold a grudge. Lady Cornelia, Kingdom soldiers approach the capital from the south. 
They're most likely returning from the assault on Aryan Road. <laughs> I've been a bit too careless, it seems. They've come far sooner than I had expected. Use the bandits to buy us some time. We'll form ranks and intercept these fools at the capital. Understood. Seems you get to cling to your pitiful little life a few moments longer, Your Majesty. <laughs> what luck. Oh, but don't worry. When your end does come, it won't change your beloved Fodlin one bit. You see, these people are nothing more than simple-minded sheep. A ruler dies, and they all go flocking straight to whoever fills the void. <sighs> they would hold a grudge. Yes, that is the way of revenge. Perhaps it was inevitable it would turn its cold gaze back upon me. Oh, you're back. How's it looking over in Ferdiad? The reports are true. There's some odd-looking weaponry mounted throughout the city. As far as I can tell, though, the townspeople themselves remain unharmed. I'm pleased to say Lord Rodrigue and Sir Gustav have been confirmed safe as well. That's great! Where are they now? After working to free Duke Ivan, they escaped the castle alongside some of the captured knights. Armed with what scant weaponry they could find, it brought the fight down to the city itself. My old man never ceases to amaze. Shouldn't even be a surprise at this point. I should add, the Western Lord's armies aren't the only forces occupying the capital. There is another. One we can't identify at present. I doubt even the great Lord Rodrigue and Sir Gustav will be able to hold out much longer. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. We should focus on keeping them safe, right? Don't be too hasty. Why do you think the two of them are causing this uproar in the first place? To create a diversion, I know. But I don't think that means we should just abandon them, either. I agree, Felix. I won't leave my father to die. Besides, I don't think His Majesty would want us saving him if it meant sacrificing two of his most loyal retainers. <sighs> Fine. We'll help them if we can. That better? All that said, we won't be able to save the King while the townspeople are still in danger. Sounds pretty straightforward, then. We move on the castle and mop up in town as we go. Annie and I know these streets better than the back of our hands. We can guide you. Didu must be somewhere in the castle, too. We have to rescue him before it's too late. Our plan settled then. Everyone, move out! Come on, it's time to rescue our fool king! And whoever else we find along the way. The streets are flooded with enemy soldiers. Take one wrong step, and we'll end up hurting the civilians instead. Be careful, everyone. I can still fight! We'll start by carving a path to the castle town. On me! Give it a thousand percent! We can do it together! I'll do my best! We'll win if we work together! Begin the operation! Allow me to... Take <laughs> I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Take that! 
We have no time to waste. Quickly! We must keep pressing on! I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll keep going. the smartest move opening the gate for us. Let's crush them here and push on into town. We have to help him! Out of the way! I've got you now! And we'd better be quick about it by the look of things. Do we need worry about me? We must rescue His Majesty at once. But we are worried. You're our friend too, just like the Matron. Lord Dodrieg is surely still out here, fighting in the streets. We need to do something about that weapon, but I doubt attacking it head on will do us any good. There must be controls we could use to shut it down. I could swear I'd seen such a thing somewhere around here. Who do you think you face? Hear you loud and clear. Come on, let's get marching. I'll do what I can. I'm here to help. Shall we? Let's give... <laughs> Rodriguez is struggling. We have to help. Might as well deal with the other one, too. I wonder if those are the controls. I'm humbled you went out of your way to help me. Shame to admit my own weakness. I've got you now. Felix, why have you come for me? The attacks have come to a stop. They should be safe now. Stand down. On to the next one. Whoa. Sorry, I shouldn't stare. Should have hurried Stop. straight to his majesty, Felix. Yet here you are. Thank you. 
You were getting overwhelmed. We weren't about to just watch you die. I got this. I was wondering when your merry little band might show up. Lucky for you, I've got a nice mass grave ready and waiting. Stand back! His Majesty is in the castle. We must press on. Their assault has ceased. That should give us an easier time moving around now. Take a breather. Please be safe, Your Majesty. You like that? Here you lot, I'll make short work of this. a little longer. No. Father! Stay strong. We're coming. How did you... You saved my life. I am grateful, but there is no time to dawdle. We must make to rescue the king at once. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll make it in time. Not much further. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? Let Far belongs in his majesty's hands. We must reclaim it. Guard that lance with your lives! Don't let them have it! Help! 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 
16, that thing with the enemy. We'll rest it out of their cold, lightless fingers. This lance is a symbol of the kingdom, and it's all the boar has left of his father. Let's bring it back where it belongs. Indeed, to his majesty. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Dimitri, you okay? My friends, why have you come? As if we would just leave you here to die. Time to get you out. <clears throat> I'm afraid that I must stay. <clears throat> you saw what's happening out there. Should I try to leave, my people's lives are forfeit. <laughs> so they bind the boar not with chains, but with his utterly unreasonable sense of duty. They're gonna kill you in here, Dimitri. So be it then. If my death will keep my people safe, I won't allow it. <sighs> Dudu. Take it, Your Majesty. I. Whether it's duty towards the living, or the guilt for all those we have lost, such burdens are not yours to bear by yourself. We are here to fight by your side, Your Majesty, and so we shall, now and always. Find them! This way! Typical boar. Can't help himself. <laughs> Do try to keep up. Back at ya. On me! Any who stand in our way will taste the pointed end of my lance. <laughs> Sneaking out of our room, are we? You know what this means. We cannot allow even a single civilian cabin. Please, lend me your blade. Like I'd do anything else. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. I've awaited this moment. Not a problem. I've got it. All these ranged attacks are really cramping my style. We should find the controls and put an end to them once and for all. I've got you. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. You make a fun warrior. That drawbridge would serve to be our quickest move yeah, forward. But the controls are intense. No surprise there. 
I'd be more shocked if they'd left them intact. Engineers, repair the controls and lower the drawbridge. Then do what you must to keep it safe. I'm counting on you. I see you came prepared, Phoenix. Let's do this! Your eyes may we've not arrived too late. Come, let us show them the might of Outsguard. Abandon. It must be the Lordraker. Find us some welcome news in this case. Somebody, somebody watch out! No, no, we have to save them! Hear you loud and clear. I'll make... Hear you loud and clear. I'll make... Thank you so much! Take this! There are more out there who need our help. Come on, let's go! We will proceed as planned. We must strive. Watch and learn. You called? Let's take the stronghold. Too slow! Me too! Let us crush their defenses! Give it up! Stand back! Have my thanks. Never have hoped to accomplish my job. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Let's have a little fun, shall we? Stand back! I'll do what I can. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. My turn. I shall take the lead. Think that did it. We will proceed as planned. Earn.
That should be all of them. Nice work. I've got that. It's always such a shame to see such promising young flames rush to be snuffed out before their time. I've awaited this moment. Is this all you're capable of? Frankly, I'm getting a little bored here. Talk all you want, witch. It won't spare you your fate. I must admit I went too easy on you. Perhaps I should have torn your eyes out and bound you in chains instead. We all have our regrets according to that. And soon you'll regret ever being forced. <laughs> Shall we? Let's give it a shot. We cannot fall here. Lambright would never let me hear the end of upon our reunion. Take this! I've got you now. I'm humbled by your efforts. Stop struggling and accept your fate, witch. Oh my, how simply terrifying. <sighs> do you really think you can afford to kill me? If you do, the truth about the tragedy of Dusker will evaporate into the shadows forever. I have no intention of slaying you. Not yet. But if you have something to say, I suggest you spit it out before I change my mind. Now, Cornelia. Earlier you said my father was betrayed, murdered by lords from within Fargus. But it was you who fueled the flame of that betrayal. You saw my uncle and Lord Arendelle join hands, and you brought the Western Lords and the Imperial Nobles together. All of it was you. <laughs> what a fascinating theory. There are two things I need to know. First, your motivation. Who are you working for, and why? I know what spurred my uncle and the Western Lords to act. While the Empire has long smoldered, waiting for even the slightest spark to reignite their fury. There are a thousand reasons why one might want to assassinate a king. But what's yours for this attempt on my life? And what of my father? Why murder him in a manner as roundabout as a staged raid? All you had to do was fail to end the plague 20 years ago, and the entire royal family would have been consumed by it. You have a point, but I couldn't say. In a sense, that was another lifetime completely. One more question, then. My stepmother's body was never recovered from the site of the tragedy. What happened to her? Tell me, Cornelia! You'll find the answers you seek in the Imperial capital, though you'll have to extract them from your dearest stepsister. She must surely know something, wouldn't you think? After all, she is your stepmother's actual flesh and blood. In Enbar? Now, I've really enjoyed our little chat here, but I have so many places to be. <sighs> Why, you? Don't be so sad. You'll be seeing me again before you even know it. My apologies. Cornelia would not have escaped were it not for my carelessness. She's likely fled west in search of refuge with Viscount Mateus. As such, I will march west at once. 
I will not allow the Western Territories to go unpunished for this. Stop. Just stop. Felix? I've got something to say, Bor. And this time, you're going to listen. Time and time again, we've tried to get it through your thick skull. We might be your subjects, but we're your allies first. Yet you still insist on doing every little thing all by yourself. So what is it? Do you lack the ears to hear with? Or do you hear our words and just choose to ignore them? Felix, that's enough. I know how you feel, but you need to contain yourself. I can't. Two whole years I've bitten my tongue. The fool needs to hear this in the plainest terms possible. It was I who chose war with the Empire. I who murdered my uncle in cold blood. I who oppressed the Western Lords. I failed to save the people of Dusker. Failed to save Glen and my father. The lives my actions stole from them are mine to atone for. Which I will do by exacting revenge on all who were involved. And by seeing my people safe. As for that burden, yes, I believe it is mine to bear alone. You truly are a solid gold fool. One could search the kingdom high and low and not find another as utterly asinine as you. And the rest of you, don't just stand there, speak up! Well, I know Felix has a strange way of showing it at times. But this is all because he worries about you, Dimitri. And it's not just him, either. We all do. Your Majesty, you know my feelings on this matter. Six years ago, I too watched as nearly everything I cared about was taken from me. And Felix is no different. He lost his brother that day. This pain is not yours to shoulder alone. He's right, Your Majesty. That is why it is so frustrating to see you act like this. I can't say it's too surprising, though. You've always kept everything to yourself, even when you were a little kid. But what you're going through now, it's more than one person could possibly manage on their own. Please, Your Majesty. We just want to help. You can trust us. Like I said before, all you need to do is ask and I'll be at the ready. Besides, we'll all be out of work if you go this alone. We will assist you in whatever we must. Even vengeance. Thank you. All of you. Lady Cornelia, what's happened to you? Oh, I was too careless. I can hardly remember the last time I was this badly hurt. As for the capital, Viscount Mateus, we failed, and I doubt the King will soon forget our attempt to seize it. What? But how? Viscount, your son, the one who married a distant relative of House Gautier. They'll have his head. Same goes for the kin of all the other Western Lords. No. This king is a fool to be sure, but he's not foolish enough or kind enough to forgive those who serve his betrayers. I guarantee you that. His army will begin their march to subdue Western Fargus any moment now. If you don't want your territory stolen from you, or your life, then your only choice is to rise in revolt. Yes. Yes, I understand. We will mobilize at once.